Did you know the United States of America has an evil Decepticon sound wave orbiting the Earth? Let's learn more about that today on Space Course. The X-37 is an experimental, reusable space plane very similar to the shuttle, but much smaller and completely robotic and uses many more advanced technologies. And it's so tiny, it's cute. It stands just over 9.5 feet tall, just 7 inches taller than the tallest man ever, and weighs nearly 11,000 pounds, about the same weight as a full-grown elephant. By comparison, in the space world, the space shuttle is 122 feet long and weighs 172,000 pounds, just a little bit more than an elephant. The X-37 B was designed to be launched into space on top of a standard space launch vehicle. Stay in orbit for up to 270 days and then re-enter and land like the shuttle. Much the same as a space shuttle, it's not so much a plane, but a glider when re-entering the Earth's atmosphere. So this cute little space plane wasn't always the super secret Air Force flyer it is today. It started life as a NASA program in 1999, but transformed to DARPA in 2004. DARPA then transferred it to the United States Air Force in 2006. Although the Air Force has disclosed some of the payloads that have flown the orbit on X-37B, most of the space plane's onboard gear is classified, as are the details of its orbital activities and pretty much everything else to do with it. This secrecy has led to some speculation that the vehicle is some sort of space weapon, perhaps one designed to take out or capture satellites, which honestly would be pretty cool. However, the Air Force has always denied this notion, insisting that the X-37 is just testing out technologies for future spacecraft and carrying various experiments up to space and back. Some of these technologies being tested may be sensors and other equipment for future spy satellites. Outside experts have always said, but I'm sticking with it being a super secret satellite destroying unmanned spaceship, basically Soundwave. The Air Force's X-37B fact sheet states that the space plane is designed to spend up to 270 days in orbit at one time. However, the vehicle has already zoomed past that limit multiple times. The first mission stayed aloft for 225 days, but the second and third lasted 469 days and 674 days respectively. The fourth and latest circled Earth for a record-shattering 718 days before it landed on March 7th, 2017. This longevity may be a key part of the X-37B. After all, engineers testing technologies for future satellites want to see how this gear behaves in space environment for long periods of time or on their way to Mars. Though the Air Force doesn't disclose Soundwave, I, I, I mean the X-37's precise orbit, keen-eyed amateur astronomers have managed to track the vehicle from ground, and so can you, thanks to their efforts. Check out space.com's satellite tracker in the description to see where the X-37B is overhead during its next mission. The view won't be dramatic, the space plane usually looks like a star, middling brightness moving across the sky as it searches for the next satellite victim. That's all we got for today's space course. I hope you enjoyed the X-37 and its cute satellite destroying self. If you're interested in more of these, I ask that you would subscribe, like this video, come back for more, leave a comment, let me know what kind of spaceship you want to see next. If we haven't earned your subscription, then I ask that you come back next video, maybe check that out, maybe we'll earn it next time. Until then guys, thank you very much for watching.